this is Lynn Pavlis Jenkins of LPJ Consulting. Today I'd like to share with you a powerful question that a wise woman once asked me. She said, Lynn, why is it that you try so hard to fit in when you were made to stand out? That was a question that just stopped me in my tracks and it was quite some time before I had an answer for it. I throw that question out to you. Do you believe that you were made to stand out? One of the keys to standing powerfully is knowing what your strengths are. Are you a great problem solver? Can you lead a group of volunteers or a team to accomplish a task? Can you launch a product? Can you creatively think of a solution that no one else has thought of? Those are the kind of strengths that will really carry you into a place where you can feel like you are made to stand out. Now you might ask, how do I know what those strengths are? I say think about those things that you're really good at and you love doing. So it might be the thing that people compliment you on often and you generally dismiss it because you think, wow, everybody can do that. But they can't. They're not a good storyteller or they're not good at writing an article or public speaking or facilitating a group. So think of those strengths. And if you need some assistance, there's a great book by Tom Rath called Strength Finder 2.0. You can find it wherever you purchase your books. They also have an assessment and it'll help identify some of the strengths that you may not be familiar with. I think the second part of that question is, after you have those strengths, are you standing up powerfully and standing out with those strengths to make a difference in the world. Are you? That was the great strength behind the question that she asked me because I was feeling very comfortable staying small, trying to fit and belong into an organization that didn't line up with my value system and what I needed to accomplish in the world. So today I'd like to challenge you to believe that you were made to stand out. And I'd like to close this session with a poem that a former boss of mine, Barry Childs, read to me when he told me to jump off the cliff and build the wings on the way down. So here's the quote, it's by Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It is in our light and not our darkness that frightens us most. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and famous? Actually, who are you not to be? You're a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that people won't feel insecure around you. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us. It's in all of us. And when we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. We are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. So go out there and stand out with your strengths.